guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. So today we are doing a liquid lip test. We are trying out the Focalure, Focalar uh, liquid lips. I found these on Univex or Univux something online and they said that they are all day long lasting wear. Um, so we are putting them to the test if they are eat proof, kiss proof, wear proof. Um, so if you are interested, waterproof even. So if you are interested to see how these uh, liquid lips perform, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so we are going to be doing a lip review today. Um, I got these Focaler, Focaler, um, lip glosses from Univex. You, I can't even remember. I'll have to look it up online where I got them. But they are liquid lipsticks, matte lips, and they are supposed to be smudge proof, wear proof, eat proof, every type of proof that they are. The advertisement says that they are made with like a honey or like a substance that draws moisture in from the air. Now, what's really actually kind of funny about this is I've watched a lot of reviews on these and they're actually quite affordable. I can't even remember what I paid for them. I bought them a long time ago, um, back in 2018, and uh, I actually bought four and only three came because the package that came over from China or wherever they were uh, sent from or whatever distributor they were sent from, they it was actually opened and like one of them I guess fell out and like it was lost. But they were all like sealed and packaged and stuff so I wasn't like scared or anything to use them. I think I paid like six dollars for them like each, six dollars each or something for them. But what's really funny about these advertisements is that they show swatches and they run them underwater and everything but the colors that they show in the advertisements and being swatched aren't the same colors that they offer. One. And two, <laughs> I'm almost positive that they're using some of the lip sense advertisements that are out there uh, for this because they show like this woman in like black glossy lips and like rubbing her lips on a glass. They don't offer the color black and these are matte lip colors, not glossy. So there's that. <laughs> um, I purchased the colors Wine, Jazzberry, and Mugshot. So 13, 24, and 22, and these are what they are. I'm going to swatch them on my arm real quick. This is Mugshot. 13. This is... This is Jazzberry. So, side note, this is wine, this is jazzberry, and this is mugshot. Sorry, I got my colors mixed up. So here are the colors, mugshot, jazzberry, wine. Um, mugshot and jazzberry, mugshot and jazzberry have a little bit of a sparkle to them, and uh, wine is completely matte. We are going to let these dry off for a hot second. Um, I think I'm going to, while I'm waiting for these to dry to see if like I can dip them in water and whatnot, I think I'm going to apply Mugshot 22 to my lips because I think it would match my eyes and my, uh, my hair pretty well. They don't have the most pleasant scent to them. They're actually pretty like, they smell like paint. Like, they don't, they don't smell very pleasant. They apply pretty nicely. Um, they're very drying. It's like, like I can't move my lips together very easily. Like, it doesn't feel very moisturizing. It doesn't feel very, like, it just feels really, like, drying. It feels really heavy on the lips, if that makes sense. It feels like there is something on my lips. It's definitely pretty tacky. And like I said, they do not have a very pleasant scent. However, this color mugshot is giving me a lot of life with my eye right now. Like, it's, it's uh, doing something for me. Here are my arm swatches. I'm just going to blot them with a tissue just to really make sure that they are dry. I don't know if you can see that. There is a little bit of color transfer. A tiny tiny bit but that also just might be that they have not set fully all right so I'm rubbing 
Nothing is really coming off on my finger. A little bit of shimmer from the mugshot and the jazzberry, but they don't look like they're budging. They don't look like they're going anywhere. I have a bowl full of water in front of me um, because of another video that I did recently. So I'm just going to dip my fingers in those. This is supposed to be waterproof. It's, uh, I mean, it's not going anywhere. There's a little bit of transfer on my fingers, just slightly, but not a whole lot. All right, dried my arm off. No budging, no smudging. That's pretty impressive. All right, so I'm going to wear this. I'm going to go and actually, you know what? Let's do like a little bit of an eating test on camera to see if anything comes off while I'm eating. Um, and we will do a little bit of a wear test. So I'll be right back with some cookies. So we did not have any cookies, so I'm going to be eating some brownie brittle. Um, if anybody has tried this, it is unbelievably addictive. Terrible. We bought this at Costco when it was buy one get one free, and it was probably like the biggest mistake in the whole entire world because we just could not stop eating it. So, brownie brittle in hand. Nothing came off on the brownie brittle. And my lip color is still there. Sorry, I'm talking while I'm chewing. I'm really not trying to be gross. Mm. It's not coming off, but it's very uncomfortable on the lips. It is not like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's not... It's very drying. I don't feel like it's pulling any moisture in from the air to moisturize my lips. And it is very tacky. Like, do you see that? So it is 2.31 right now. We're gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna see if I can wear this as long as possible. And I'm not going to touch up. I'm not gonna put any lip gloss on. I'm not even going to reapply these. I'm just going to go and live my life, live my Sunday afternoon, and see kind of where we are at the end of the day. I mean, I have high hopes. I have not tried this before. I swatched them on my arms, and that was it. I have not worn these pre prior to this video, so I honestly have no clue how it's going to work. This is a first impressions. I really like the colors. I really like all of the colors, and it was very promising, the water test. However, like I said, it's just uncomfortable on the lips. Like, it's really tacky, and it's like, it's not tightening. It's just like, it's heavy feeling. I don't, there's not a good way of it's, I don't have the words. Anyways, so we will be back at the end of the day, and I will show you if this has actually um, held up for hours after eating, after talking, after drinking. So, you know, we will, we will see. Okay guys, so I am back. Uh, these are the lips. Untouched up, un anything. I have eaten dinner, lived my life, drank a cup of tea, drank a little bottle of sparkling grape juice, um, and these are it. So the only thing that I'm really noticing is around the like center of my mouth, like right there. I have what a lot of other beauty YouTubers and like people in the beauty world would call like butthole lips and I hate that terminology but it's the truth like it's just wearing off in like the center of my lips um but nothing that like when my lips are closed you can't really tell they're also a little like dry and crackly they don't look as like presentable as when I first uh, put it on. However, the color is still there. There's no like holes or gaps or anything. Just a little crackle. So, you know what? Like, that's not too bad. When did I like apply this? It's been at least four hours. I feel like I left here at 2.31. Is that correct? Um, so it is 6.38 right now. So what? About four hours later. Four hours for a lip color is like 
pretty insane to be staying on like this. So it's definitely a pretty decent or legit lip color. I will link where you can find this Focalure. F O F O F O C A L U R F O I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will link these lip glosses or lip matte lip colors in the um, description box below. So if you are interested in testing out these lip colors, then you can definitely do that. Like I said, they have a very unpleasant scent, like disgusting, almost paint-like, and they are a little like tacky and drying on the lips. But again, for something that you don't need to wear like a gloss over and you just apply it and go, I am not disappointed with this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Have you tried these, um, Focalore, Focalar, I don't know, uh, liquid lips before? Have a friend tried them? What is your favorite lip product that is kiss-proof, eat-proof, smudge-proof? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on another review or tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys.